And today I've got on the show joining me two of our most beautiful wahine in Tutai Tokiro who have been doing this kind of mai for years and years. Um, me my. Me my. Me my. <laughs> Tena no my. Hide my wahine. Ma. So it's a mother and daughter duo, of course, and they are Pauline and Marcia Hopa. Tena kōrua. Tēnā koe, no mai ki te whakāturanga. Um, so, yeah, Matatini, celebrating the 50 years of Te Matatini. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll start off with you, Auntie Pauline. Um, what, what? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe that your Matatini career all started with Te Huinga Waka from Poihākina. It and, did indeed. In, um, in Poihākina, we lived there for 12 years. Yep. And uh, Muriwai Hākara, the late Muriwai Hākara, mm-hmm. uh, gave out a karanga for people to come to join his group to Te Huinga Waka. What years were they? Uh, that was in 80, uh, 88, oh, just after the 88 one, 89. For oh. the 1990 at Waitangi. Mm. And so we thought we'd go go over and, uh, and and have a look and join his team. He had a very young team that were part of the um, Polynesian dance um, uh, cabaret uh, set from inner cities, from the inner city of Sydney. And we were sort of from the burbs in the western suburbs. Oh, yep. And it was yep. like a coming together of, uh, you know, different reanga. We, we had families, young families, and they were sort of just beginning young their, their lives. Uh, oh, yeah, young friends <laughs> single, exactly. <laughs> and so we came over, and I remember the first day they came out to the West, um, Mickey Taitapara, um, he goes, where do we get our passports stamped? You know, because they just, they, we don't go this far unless we're travelling to New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. So it was a little bit of a culture shock for them. Yeah. But, yeah, our first year back was at 1990. Waitangi. Wow. Waitangi. Mm. You were only... I would be two. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, a lot of the members from the Rope back then, or even now, if it still exists. Yeah, it still um, exists. Having to travel, like, far further than New Zealand sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Hours and hours away. Yeah, yeah. Um, Like, we had a, a family who would come from the ACT, Australian Capital Territory in Canberra. That's at least two hours, three hours, drive up and then drive back to, up to Sydney, back home. Um, and they just did that for years. They're probably still doing it to this day. Oh, love that commitment. <laughs> and then the big money was the travel to get here. Mm. That was a big yeah, money. Yes, yeah. So 1990, you started at Huigawaka, Waitangi. Yeah. That was your first Te Matatini. Okay. Let's go. What, what's... And the next... 90, what's the next? Yeah. 92, uh, with Te Huigawaka again mm. at Ngārua Wahia. Waiata Tira.
Wakaiki. That was like your closest placing to the finals, eh, for Te yeah, I think we, I think it was we top came six. In, yeah, and, and you just came in seven. seven. Oh, yeah. wow. And I think it was only by like half a point or something, yeah, like, something that. like that. Yeah. Wow. So we, it, we featured in those early days, yeah. and like at least the top 12. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was the closest we got there. And I think it might have been, you know, even on count back. We, mm. Yeah. Peke Rua Ngato, 94, Hawera. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, and was my Wakahuya. first year with Wakahuya. Kua yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got to sing the solo of Wairua Tapu, and I just want to say I wasn't happy with that solo. And I think it was mainly to do with a lot of nerves and things. And oh, the fact that, oh, oh, <laughs> auntie, that Auntie Nen <laughs> trusted me to do that, you yeah. know. 
Uh, and so that was the beginning of my sort of with with Wakahuya. And mm. you've won. What's yeah. that like? That's an yes, un- yeah. yes, yes. It's um, an unreal it's feeling, but oh, un- Uncle Bub was always you know kafakaiti, kafakaiti, because mm. you might have won, but people have spent their whole lives and and they've sort of you know try and keep yourself humble so that you don't incur any hurt on others. Mm. Um, and that was a big thing for him, and it wasn't a pretend thing. You know, I remember, we you know we were well away from everybody else when we actually gave out a huge like. Yes. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's awesome to be in a team, but I mean, it was awesome being in, in, um, in, in, in Te mm. Yeah, uh, I was there for what ten years. Yeah, yeah. 94, 96, 98, 2000. What would have been your highlight of those ten years? Probably, I'd say um, I was probably at the top of my game in around the. Rotorua years. Oh, yes, that yeah. was a good year. Yeah, yeah. Nineties were my favourite. Yeah. Me too, yep, yeah, me mine too. too. <laughs> it's yeah. sort of where Kapaka kind of started to step out a bit of the box scene. Yeah. Mm. Or started hearing um, yeah. top, like topical tunes. Yeah. So Pushing these guys boundaries. all grew up with Te Oh, yeah. yeah. But when I would go with Wakahuya, they would be waiting at the airport for Tohunga Waka to come and they'd be getting on the Tohunga <laughs> Waka, Waka bus. bus. <laughs> and then the, the aunties would be like to Ōtini. What's Wakahuya's poi or tea? Yeah. That corner us up. What's the poi? What's that? They were like, we're not allowed to tell. <laughs> oh, we had some of those in the fun <laughs> too. Like, oh, how does yes, it go? <laughs> yeah, they, they'd try and catch Ortini out and, you know, because he knew all the poi anyway. And yeah. they yes. knew most, you know, they knew all the um, all the actions, all the more tea. Yeah. Mm. But the great thing for our group, which we formed after the 2000 Ngaruahia, was that they also got the teaching of Auntie Nen and Uncle Bub. So all of that, you know, experience that I had mm. um, really overflowed into all, you know, Aku mm. Tamariki uh, Katoa, Joby Ōtini and Marcia, they heard those same yeah. things that I heard. So. And we were only Tamariki growing up in it. And as adults, we can look back and be very grateful for Fully. the, the yeah. um, experience and the journey that we had through the 90s. Yep. Um, and then my sort of te matatini has been that. It's, if I think of te matatini, I always think it's like a week away. Um, you've got your superstars. They were my first idols walking around. Oh, my gosh, all yeah, these groups. Like that grilling. was te matatini. It was the Disneyland <laughs> yep. for any Māori kid. Yes. And we went to all of them. So I was like, yes, it was a favourite time of the year. Um, and then switch it up. We've got our own rōpū, Fort Afano base. It's 21 years this year. 21, 21. years. Yeah. Wow. Um, and we've been uh, attending since 2002. Very grateful to be t- attending and representing Te Tai Tokido since 2002. So that's a few festivals under yeah. our belt yeah. now. And really good ex- experience that we've been able to um, share mm. the learnings and the teachings we've had. More te te. Oh, my God.
Puy.
Te Hoinga Waka is, was a whānau to us and are still a whānau to mm. us. Mm. They are our whānau tonu. Right. Uh, te Waka Huia was a whole period of just being able to be in the presence of um, mā tanga haka, like yes. us and Uncle Bud, Very much. and really learn under the discipline of, a, of, of how to run a group mm. um, and how to you know, corral a group together, how to look for excellence. Mm. And, and, that, and yeah. that competitive edge. Yeah, yeah. and the competitiveness. Um, hush, yeah, hush. definitely. <laughs> yeah. And then we started our own, which was a totally new journey of going through um, and building a group. And believe me, in the early days, it was Ooh. rugged. It was rugged. You know, we just had to learn Everywhere everything. Everywhere has humble beginnings. Yeah, like, I remember our first Matatari we went to and we were watching Te Waka Huia in 2002. You know yes. how epic that was. Yeah. And our members like, they're all right, eh? Oh, they, they seem pretty good, eh? And look, because they all sitting there sitting there like, oh my gosh, they've never oh, been to a Matatari. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is our group. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where it all that's where it all started, yeah. you know? And and we've had to progress through that. I when when I went to see Uncle Bub about starting a group, I said to him, I'm thinking of starting my own group, Uncle. And he said Pauline, that's all, always what I've wanted. Mm. I want you to share. You know, that's always what I've wanted. Then he said, but I'm going to tell you what it's like to run a group. And if you still want to run a group, then at least I know I've told you of all the pitfalls of yeah. what's going to happen. <laughs> yep. So he said, you know, your time is never your own. You're going okay. to travel whenever you go. Mm. Whenever you go anywhere, you take 100 people with you. You're yep. planning okay. for that. Yep. Um, you become part of your members' lives. They're picky minga heke. And, mm. and there's a responsibility in that. Pauline, you will never be rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you'll be poor. <laughs> but it will give you your highest highs yeah. and some of your lowest lows. And you will not always be popular with everybody. Yeah. Um, and those were the things. And you're going to need a van or something. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're going to need bus. a yeah, bus or something like that. But he said, Mena Pauline, here, here, Tonu Kwekite, you know, I got two head opu, tuku. You know, go. And, um, and, and so that's it. what happened. Yep. And a year later, he said to me, Pauline, uh, you know, how's it going? I said, All the things you said, Uncle, true. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and he said, And, and, and I said, Kahaere Tonu. And so one thing I would say for when you've started your own group, if you're looking for the highest highs in your, in your, um, in my, my experience in Kapaka, it would be being on stage with my tamariki, mm, my mokopuna. Those are special. My, yep. uh, the last one we had here, my whānau, whānui. Yeah. That's something you can't, you can't eat. Buy. Te, yeah, him out, tie out to, yeah. um, you know, atui tērā. Mm. You've reached the pinnacle. Yep. And that's yeah. what we wanted. Yeah, yeah definitely. Your... That's um, So, you know, that's a big jump from, like, all these different dy dynamics in the Ropus from an Australian team to a winning team <laughs> to a <laughs> Taitukero <laughs> team. <laughs> Taitukero <laughs> team. <laughs> Whānau <laughs> team, yes. Yeah. And so out of all those three, you know, which kind of feels, obviously, would be with the Fano. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got yeah, a walk up partner who who's just waited all his life to get onto Tamatini. <laughs> yes. and, co and COVID just pushed it back. You know, yeah. he was waiting for yep. the day he turned fourteen. Well, he's sixteen now and he's <laughs> like still Surely waiting. I'm yeah. get on. But like the last um, performance, the Marangamaiati, we had what um happened across the Motu where Fano could perform with Fano and all of those sort of competition barriers came down. Was a huge, yeah, like, yeah, it's something said in that, eh? Like, we need more of that because the amount of harikoa that you saw throughout the motu was evident. Te haka.
Go out there. And um, um, yeah, did perform with her great grand moko. Oh, is that great? Yes, he's my great. Yeah, great. Toda. Yeah, Toda. And then all the way up to our queer, um, Auntie Gawai. Oh, 
yeah. all on the one stage. So, yep. you know, my tuakana, my taina, <coughs> it, that, that's, that was just awesome um, to, to be able to do that. But, yep. you know, when we came back, we wanted to be based in a marae because um, Te Wakohui always said, oh, he, Uncle Bubba always said, he ropu mane ne mata. we don't have a base, we don't have a home, you know, we're urban Māori. Um, and so he said, get a home, Pauline. So um, my natural home was Pihi Aori. Mm. So I went to the committee and they weren't that fast. They were like, <laughs> oh, what's that going to cost us? <laughs> what's this about, Pauline? You know, they didn't. And so it took me a while to convince them, you know, mm. we won't be a cost to you. We'll be a, you know, we'll talk about and write about. Who else is going to write about and sing about Pihi Aori? Only those of us. You. <laughs> Other than so yourself. So over the years, their affection and their... Um, and their commitment to us is growing. Yeah. And Ooh. but you know, it wasn't we had to still prove ourselves and do it and show that we wanted it to be about Fano. Yeah. And I, I think that we've done that. It's very yeah. much a Fano thing. Holy, oh, mm. that's how Hatia Nation was. Yes, Hatia <laughs> Nation. <laughs> and we and I keep to Matatani, fifty years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think you're one of the not the eldest or maybe oldest still performing. And Te Matatani. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, well, I'm 64. Yeah, that's still performing. Yeah, like, there's others at Tudors. Still going from 22. <laughs> oh, you know, still maybe. Still going. But, Even um, though it's somebody like, so <laughs> it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do but, another you know, one. But the other thing about Matatani is that it's it's also morphed. You know, it started off as a Polynesian yes. festival. And then it sort of cut off to itself. And the Pacific Islanders went ahead. <laughs> yeah. It's Pacifica, and then we we went to Atom Pass, Aotearoa yeah. traditional Māori performing arts, arts. Yeah. and then on to Te Matatini, which was the name given to it, us by Te Parahuia. Um and and now it's 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 morphed into the fifty odd groups that mm. perform now. It's, oh yeah, it's a huge technical and logistical. Um, uh, movement like for us, we got to start. You know, we really do. It's it's every fundraising, uniforms, choreography, compositions, mm. you know, travel, welfare, everything. everything. You know, it's a big it's a big thing. Yeah. And venues. one yeah, venues and, and, and practices and time. And who's gonna look after the Books. kids? Mm. Well no one looks well, after kids at, at our at our um, haka practice yeah, there. They look after yeah. this. Oh, they, Where are the kids? <laughs> they're on a truck going they're through, the through the roads. Like, <laughs> that? that never happened at Wakahuya, <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> but um but it it just shows, you know, but in the same breath I can hear the little two year old kids over there humming our songs, yep. singing the kupu, and I think, nah, that's, that's the way it want. should be. Yeah. That's the way we want it to be. Yep. I had sixteen years on the on the committee and the executive committee of Tamatitani, and that gives you an insight to everything and everyone across the Motu. Um, it's a great learning curve in regard to governance, that's for sure. Mm. Um, so I'm happy for that have to be able to give back to something that's given me so much. Yeah, mm. kia ora.
uh, I've got a one of the hardest questions for you both, mm. um, and because you yourself, Marcy, have been in a few matatini now as mm. a kaita takiwahi, or even just a performer. Mm. Um, what's been your most memorable? Why? As a performer. Yeah, or, or even mm. as a spectator. Mm. Yeah. Which which year was your year? <sighs> Oh, that's a that is a hard one. I've got mine. Yeah, go then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two thousand and nineteen, um, our poi, oh, poi yes. miti. Oh, and that yeah. really was um was a public thanks to God for His um for his, the miracle that He gave to us for our mokopuna kaiulani. Oh, yeah. and so that was that was had to have been the most emotional, but actual real things that we did you know, that I felt in my lifetime we get the chance to do. Because mm. often we receive these things, but we don't have a public platform to be able to tell others what's happened to us. And this was a way in which we could express it in poi mm. and in Beautiful. song and thanks and gratitude to God for his blessings on mm. us. So for me, that was that's what Matatini is about. You get to put out your messages. You get to share them with others. And you get to... to you know, pa te te wairua o, o te waiata o ngā whakaaro ki te marea mm. e whakarongoana. Aye. Mm. Yeah, and that was a beautiful point, definitely. Yeah. I think it's just the whole experience, just the whole hiding, the whole week. Um, If I can remember, 2011, uh, we stayed in Uawa. That was an experience. Yeah. Oh, yes, Waiohika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that year, I remember we us performing and then a whole bunch of these Apanui performers came up and said, we love you. And so we were like, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that um, 2013 Rotorua was that another great stay, yeah. whole week. Um, we stayed um, in a little marae there, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little marae. Quido. Quido. Yeah. Oh, Quido. Mm. Yeah. And then um, the after party at the Tuhorangi Rugby Club. <laughs> Way to go. Um, 2015 Christchurch. Again, we got... Lovely, Lovely accommodation. Yeah, a motel there, beautiful. Yeah. Mm. You know, so all the experiences and going down all on on the plane and going together as a as an opera is always I look forward to it the whole week. Mm. It's a little bit of a bundle of stress but also of happiness. When we yeah, went to Gisborne, we, we actually um we hired we chartered a plane from Whangarei or That's yeah, right, Manga, yes. Manga, <laughs> plane. But we raised our money. It actually worked out quite reasonable, but when we went to go to Kahungunu four years later, we thought, oh, well, we'll go and charter a plane, see what that cost. It had gone from $20,000 for 50 or 60 yeah, people, 50. eh, to 40000 it, wow. And I was like, oh, no, wow. no, we're, going, we're back to Jetstar. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we did fly. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, and then uh, Hedy Tonga, 2017, yeah, that great. Awesome, um, Marae Stay at Haungaria, Paki yeah, Paki. You know, so yeah. all the experiences, the weeks away is is what I look forward to. Um, if you were to ask me what's my ultimate want for Te Matatini, my dream stage is the Waikato River Barge. Ngaroa, oh, yeah. yes, yep. If we could just make it on there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Life that would goals. be like, That's right. oh, Dream that would stage. be that would be actually. <laughs> it is a dream stage yeah. too. Yeah. To be there on the river on the river. Yeah. It's nothing like it. Yeah. Because mm. I'd say that's one of my favorite brackets too. Wakahuya ninety two. Yep. Can't find me too. I agree with that year too. <laughs> mm. Like All every dropu, every dropu. Yeah. yeah. So casting good year. forward to February twenty twenty three. It's coming up. And so we're looking forward to going because we come from Palmaki as well, Ngāti Pātō Rāke. Right. So yep. we're we're hosting as well as we're one of the groups that are coming here. Actually, we've got probably got more Ngāti Pātō <laughs> in, in our group than any group they in Tāmaki. <laughs> Kāpai. Yeah. yeah, so we can rightfully call ourselves Ngāti Pātō group as well. But looking forward to it. And what are, what are the topics? We've had All a right. meeting on the weekend. You know, what are we going to write about? What do we want to say? Mm. Um, how do we want to say it? And what we get? We're getting a little bit more structured in the way we we plan for these things mm. now. But a big part of this whole kaupapa that came with us from Te Hunga Waka mm. has been the tapani whānau. Mm. So when you think of hati, yep. it's the hoppers and the tapanis, and um, and of That's course the, the, the <laughs> magic of of Uncle Dave. Yeah. And his, you know, mātanga waiata and his choral abilities is second to none. But that all started for us 
at Tohinga Waka. waka. Yeah. And so, you know, a hono tonu mm. mātou. Beautiful. Mm. Well, well, I think we'll, we'll yeah. wrap it up there. Mihi ana kia Thank you very much for your kōrero and all your sharing your kōrero in regards to the years of matatini and Hari huri tau te matatini. Hari huri tau te matatini. As we wait for every day. Yes. Tari te waka ki te inga toa whakai huaka oh, wow. o tēnei whakataitai. Oh, I know. Ooh. Should be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> kia ora. Kia ora. Him, man.